I Let's spy. play word association. Go. What is it? How do you play it? Word association. Elephant. Penis. Okay. Monkey. Penis. Okay. That's weird. You got a penis on both of those. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, that says a lot. I wonder if that says something about you. I don't think it does. Donald Trump. Railing a dude in the back of a hometown buffet. Find my girlfriend yet? Yes! I have someone in mind. Do you know who Trisha Paytas is? Okay, so wait a minute. You found somebody? I found someone that I think you and her would be very compatible. How old is she? 30. That's a great age. In really? her prime. Do you want to see a picture of her? Do you know who she is? She has like half hour long videos of her just eating. Are you trying to date a YouTuber? I'm not yeah. trying to date a YouTuber, but you it would... just want somebody to date. Have you done <laughs> yeah, do you have like Raya? I have a date from Raya being set up right now. I've been on Raya for a while. Is it like the famous people one? Yeah. Uh -huh. How is your profile looking like? Is it My profile, your Tinder Raya's, profile? It's just one picture. Not your Raya one. How many pictures? It's like ten pictures. You wanna see it? That's aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Why no Carmelita? Is this flippogram? <laughs> <laughs> they move too quickly. Do you like have a lot of matches? You know what? I did when I first started. I don't anymore. Do you go on dates with people? Not anymore, no. I went on a, I, I went on some. It's kind of hard to like date people. It's just so much energy. Mm -hmm. And then you get there and it's like the minute she walks in, you're like, She's oh, like, this is awful. Oh. Really? I just heard one ever been on a blind date or like a date uh, with someone. I, like well, that. imagine, imagine if I said to you, like you've had boyfriends, right? Okay, so you, you love that person and that person's like so special to you. So we're imagining everyone else that you're forced to be with. Like you just be like, what? And now you're with them for like an hour and you know right away, right yeah. Carly? Mm, I don't know. I had a date last weekend. She was great. And then she got drunk and her personality completely changed. Oh, really? Yeah. Multiple personalities. Like, well, this is going really well. And then she got hammered. Okay, so back to this girl. Like, if you can set me up on a date with her, like, I will. tonight, I'll go tonight. Oh my god, that's so soon. Do you know her? Yeah. Ask her I'll, if, I, if I'll go on a date with her if I can film it. Just, just me and her. It'll just be me and her. Give me two days. Please. Can't call her right now? I don't know. Her. Here, I'll DM her. Oh my god, DM her and just be like, I think you're really great. How are you gonna go? I think, the, I think the way I'm gonna die is I'm gonna be driving and I'm gonna check my blind spot or something and I'm not gonna see the cars breaking in front of me. It's probably gonna be a semi truck and I'm gonna go right into the back. My head's gonna come off. Done. That's how I'm gonna die. And then like, if he actually does like that, I'm gonna be so impressed. And like, I won't even like if that happens, we'll all freak out not because he's dead, but because he got. It's right. probably not gonna be a. Stand. And I won't be able to find the footage. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Scott. Yes, sir. I have a job for the OC detectives. Scott and Todd. OC detectives. On the case. The drone is in the backyard. So I went over there. Wyatt flew it over there, of course. And I need it for my brand deal. Wyatt was trying to sabotage your brand deal. Hmm. So what's over? the question? Well, I need to get in that backyard. You need to get in the backyard. So there is no question. You just need a sneaky way to do it. You don't want to be caught. Leave it to Todd. He's my partner in crime. He does all my dirty work. Todd, are you taking a long leak? Can we sneak over there and get this drone? I'm happy to get the drone, but I think we should go work out first. I think he's right, Jason. No, no, we need the drone now. These guys are gonna go get your drone back that you lost. Maybe me and Todd could prop <coughs> Wyatt over the fence, and you can do the dirty work. How am I gonna get back over, though? Uh, You're not. Just throw the drone and we'll leave you there. I have a way we can get in, but we need to go right now. I put on this shirt because it says, do what scares you. <laughs> and going into someone's backyard really makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Nobody likes. Go, go, go on the inside. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. I hope no one from the neighbor's house sees us. Guys, what about the drone? It's packages. There's two ways to get in. We can break into their backyard and pull the thing, and someone will, will cover us. I say we send Todd in, and, and I will do cover with the kids, and we'll have the kids with us so it doesn't look like we're stealing. Are you sure they're gone? Yeah. There's a dog there, though. The dog's inside. Just get a new drone, Jason. There's another way to go, too, which is we can come from the side. Can we just create a long stick with a string on it that will loop around the drone, and we can drag it out so we don't have to physically <laughs> enter the neighbor's backyard? No, it's too, it's too in the middle of the backyard. I'm 25 years old, Jason. I'm not a kid anymore! This reminds me of the Sandlot. Come on guys, let's go! How long have you guys been detectives? Since you came into my room and said, we need to get that drone back. <laughs> First, it's Wyatt, ninja expert. Charlie, expert in telling people what to do. Todd, the muscle. And Scott, he has the brains, but a tad insecure. Wyatt's ass was in my face before I popped my head up. Don't hurt the plants. It's over there. I don't see it! By the tree, just go! <laughs> it's right there! Why? Look down on the ground. Do I have the wrong house? It's on the ground right there. What do you mean it's not there? It's not there. I just saw it. Oh, you... it. See you, Wyatt. We got the drone. See you, Wyatt. <laughs> Bye, Wyatt.
<laughs> Another solved case by the OC detective. Yeah. What are you? What are you? Par- your partner's gonna do now? We're gonna retire. Do you guys have names? It's Huck and Finn. Barnaby Jones. I'm Barnaby. Huck and Finn, and he's oh, Barnaby. he's Barnaby Jones. Okay. <laughs> well, since I got this for you, I guess I'll give it back. I was sort of the one that got it. Hey, if you don't appreciate me getting this back for you, then I'm not gonna hand it back to you. You want it back? Admit that I'm the one who was brave enough to jump the fence and grab it. <laughs> now I have two toys. To play with. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, OC detectives. Another solved case. Can we call you again? No. So you're getting ready for your wedding. It's coming soon, in case for some reason you back out. (laughs) (laughs) And honestly, how do you feel? I'm terribly afraid of having 150 of my closest family and friends watching me in a really, like, touching ceremony. Oh, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Did you cry at your wedding? It was really funny. I remember when I got married, my friends took me out, and one of them just sits across from me, and he just goes, don't do it, dude. No way. Are you still friends with him? Yeah. I hate this hour of the day between, like, 6 and 8, because if I'm not working, I feel like I should go see my kids, but I'm not there right now. So I'm just sitting here feeling guilty like I should go see them. And I just shared this really, really personal thing, and they both just stared at me. I'm staring you. I'm staring with the tip. <laughs> I'm making sure I wasn't grabbing two instead of one. You know? They get crumbled. They get like crumbled together. And it sucks. Jason, it's because we're all we're all just sad right now. Everybody's sad, not just you. Uncle Toad can pick up your kids. Oh, you will pick them up and bring them to me. David does the same thing. I'll share. I'll say something personal to him. Dude. Did you just fart during my vlog? Dude, you farted. Dude. Yeah, I told you not to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Next time, listen to me. Where were you going? You gave me a big speech about natural foods. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's for you, not for me. I'm 22. I can handle it. Not you. No, you can't. You just have serious diarrhea. Oh, okay, Dr. Oz. Jason. What? We can talk about health every single day. We can talk about body health. We can talk about physical health. Let's talk about mental health. Sounds good to me. How, how are you doing? As long as the camera's on. <laughs> talk about whatever you want. <laughs> I had my first low gang meeting the other night. Oh, yeah? How'd that go? Oh, man, the initiation into the low gang is serious. I'm Team 10, bitch. Who the hell are you? When me and my brothers were young, we were big fans of the show Jackass. We wanted to impersonate them, so we made a little home video that was like a Jackass tape, and we each gave each other nicknames. Like, mine was uh, Butt White. But pretty much what we did, we did pranks, and we on the slide and had kids ride down it and record them riding down it. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes we would just ride down it. We ran naked through um, football games. You ran naked through a football game? Yeah, oh yeah. Like a high school football game? Oh yeah, I got a lot of numbers that day. Did you get in trouble? Oh my god, yeah. I, no, no, I... Uh, you must have gotten so much trouble. We did that. We put Icy Hot on our balls. Um, what else? How is that? Not fun. He's going around to people. He did this to me the other day, and he's, he said, they should have a sex tape. And it's so clear that the one who will benefit the most from the sex tape yeah, is the man asking. I mean, yeah, 100% benefit from it, but like, Josh made a good point. His name is Dirty Dom. Like, it's already, like, on the edge. The jokes we make with him are fucking brutal. Dom's never gonna come to us and be like, you know what, guys? I've decided to become a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Corinna has some things to lose. No, she doesn't. Trust me. I don't know. The only thing she has to lose if she doesn't do it is more of her dignity. Okay. If Corinna's gonna do a sex day, she should do it with like Karen Dallas or like James Franco. I think or... Dirty Dom is like funny and people will appreciate the comedy. <laughs> and he's also one of your cast members. <laughs> and he's also... No, but think about it. He does it in this living room. Maybe you are... a couple million people know this living room. That's already a good selling point to the porn industry. Be like, hey, we shoot these vlogs there every day. We can even get the Lithuania flag in the background for some sponsorships. We can dub it over with Lithuanian subtitles. What kind of offer are you willing to make? I told Dom and Corinna if I could have the rights to their sex. Tape, I'd give him each $100,000 because I know I could sell it for 10 times more. You think? I don't think you're going to get a million dollars for it. I feel like because there's never been any social media influencers doing that before, I feel like this would be like this like weird like barrier to break. I feel like especially if I talk about it in the vlogs and like I auction it off. <laughs> Go fund me. Go fund me for this. <laughs> Dude! Should we do that? That'd be hilarious. What sure. does Dom say about it? Dom doesn't want to do it. I think he's insecure about his penis. <laughs> Dom gets stage fright and he's like, oh, I, I swear to God, this never happens. Give me one second. Come on, Dom. Isolate your dirty. <laughs> Let the dirty come over you. <laughs> guys, guys, I- I'm not kidding. Just hold on. One second. One second. Get the dirty going. This is for Lithuania. This is for Lithuania. Oh my god, there's like a story and like we all get parts. Like Josh plays like the detective. Jesus Christ. You know, like sometimes in porns they have the comic relief. They, they do have some people that come in. But there's a lot of <laughs> going on. <laughs> Just got an APB on the walkie. Said there's a hot girl in distress. Take care of it, dirty. <laughs>
What's up, everybody? Please hit like and subscribe. Tweet me at Jason Nash, Instagram at Jason Nash. Today's shout out is Lex. Also, me and David's podcast views drops tonight on iTunes episode five. Please check it out. Jason, when are we going to be on the podcast? Well, Todd, you know, um, David and I were talking about this and we feel like you're really built for a visual medium. So if we have you on there, it's like we're kind of robbing people of of seeing you. You're too good looking for people just to listen to your voice. Yeah, yeah. Scott, you're welcome anytime. I need to come on here. Yeah, come on here. <laughs>